Another batch of my Chinese packages is starting to arrive and here is the first piece. I suppose here I have got Air Yin B760i Mini ITX LJ1700 motherboard. After removing several bubble wraps layers I have got this nice yellow envelope and hopefully inside I have got my motherboard. The motherboard box is finally out and I have to say the print looks rather nice and we also have here a warranty seal. Of course the warranty is only applicable inside China but it is still nice to see that it's factory sealed and not repacked by the seller. It starts with this rubber pad for M.2 SSD drives, then we have some sort of a warranty statement or warranty claim. I believe this is totally useless when you are outside of China, but maybe someone will find it useful. Anyway, here is some basic product information, which is not bad because it is in English and it actually provides some useful information, even though uh, they state that motherboard supports Intel Core 10th, 11th, 12th and 13th gen. Uh, CPUs, which is totally wrong, the motherboard supports only 12th and 13th. Unfortunately, there is still no bias for 14th gen. Here we have got Wi-Fi antenna, which is very nice. With the Huana J and uh, TNUA motherboards, we do not have these antennas and they are rather cheap on AliExpress, so I don't understand why Huana J and the TNUA do not add them as a standard package. SATA cable, IO shield, or IO shield is painted, which is also nice. And according to the IO shield, the network port is supposed to be 2.5 gigabits per second. And here we also have some USB 3.05 gigabits per second. The motherboard also has this factory seal, so once it was packed at the factory, it was not opened by the AliExpress sellers. And here is the motherboard itself. Uh, immediately what I can say is that for some reason they have these uh, Chinese stickers which are saying that this uh, M.2 SSD cover is available for short and long SSD drives. I don't know why this is important, but short comes here, long comes here, that's all right. Then immediately what I can say that unlike Huanaji and Tingyue motherboards, this one came with a battery and this is very nice because as you can see this has this sort of battery connector and not a standard battery socket so it is not very easy to replace this battery if your motherboard comes without a battery the next positive thing i can spot is the mounting holes so these holes are both for intel lj 1200 and 1700 cpu coolers so these which are closer one are the smaller one for the old cooler and the ones which are a bit further apart they are for the lj1700 what i don't like is this speaker but i will have to listen how annoying it sounds other than that this motherboard seems to be very well equipped we have here one four pin uh, fan header here is another four pin fan header so it's just two of them but we have usb3 uh, this one i believe is no this one is a com so this one is USB 2, then we have audio to the front panel and these are buttons and LEDs for the front panel. Two sticks of DDR4 can be installed on this motherboard, power connector over here and over here, and the two slot is obviously here. Now let's take a look at the rear I.O. At the rear I.O. we have three display outputs. I don't know why on Chinese motherboards it's so common to have so many display ports outputs, but apparently Chinese like to use integrated graphics. Uh, then we have this little button, which I hope is a BIOS flashback function. I'm not sure yet, but it could be clear CMOS and not BIOS flashback. Then we have two USB 2 ports, one USB 3, and here is one USB Type-C, which is supposed to be 5 gigabits per second. This one are either USB 3.1 version 2 or also 5 gigabit per second ones. Here is two more USB 3.0, the supposedly 2.5 gigabits uh, Ethernet port and the Wi-Fi card exits. I don't know if uh, we actually have a Wi-Fi card installed here or we have an empty box uh, just like with Huanaji and Tingyue motherboards, but of course I will check that. 
and simple audio output. Uh, since the I.O. is so packed, I don't really mind having only three outputs. At the back side of the motherboard, we unfortunately do not have uh, the second M.2 slot, but since it is a mini ITX motherboard and it is very restricted in size, I find it okay to have only one M.2 slot, especially since a Wi-Fi port is available. Regarding VRM, I cannot say much without actually testing it, but the heatsink seems to be nice. They are not painted, uh, but uh, this silver color is uh, rather pleasant and no paint means better heat dissipation. I can also see that the thermal pad is applied there, so, so far I don't see any complaints. How it performs I will have to test. For now I have only Core i5-12400F to test, but I hope to get a 13th gen um, uh, i5-13600 or i7 13700 to stress test this VRM and see what kind of temperatures we can get. One final thing I need to check is the socket to see if I have got any paint damages. So far I don't see any damages of the paints. Seems to be everything is intact and I am going to install my i5 CPU straight away so I can start testing the motherboard. If you're interested to see full detailed review of this Ariane B760i Mini ITX motherboard, then please subscribe to my main channel, the review will be published there.